Hey everybody, Micah Outdoor Living Guy. Outdoor heaters for your covered outdoor structure. These ones are in ceiling heaters. We got a timer on the wall here. They're wonderful for uh, having the fireplace, puts out a lot of heat, but if you need the extra heat in the winter time or even in those fall cold nights, you can turn the heaters on and you will be very comfortable in your outdoor space. We have a lot of these that we're going to show you right now. There's so many different varieties and styles of heaters. So we're going to give you a little montage on heaters right now. We have some in-ceiling ones. We have some detached ones that attach to the, the, the roof of a structure. And you will see that right now. So enjoy and we'll see you right back here momentarily. Something I always recommend when you're under a covered structure is to strongly consider getting an outdoor uh, heater. This is a single element, or I'd recommend a double element e e um, even, electrical heater. They're wonderful. As I said underneath it right now, you get that warm glow and it's putting out a lot of heat. As you look back, it's a rainy, drizzly day, but you have a beautiful heater. We can, if, if you can imagine the fireplace on, the TV on out here on your outdoor couch, maybe watching the game, you're gonna stay nice and warm and cozy. You know, when I put this together, I thought about what are the activities I can do with their kids when they start having kids, because I know that's the next phase of our lives, going to be grandparents, and hopefully they'll trust us to send the kids here, and I can teach them how to make pizza, and we can do that in our, our little Komodo Joe that we've got now. We've got space, and I can be out here all year round, um, putting the heaters in, all those kind of things. This outdoor living space isn't just for the summer, it's year round.
It's Micah Outdoor Living Guy. I wanted to update you on this job we're doing in Sherwood. It is beautiful outdoor living space. The highlight, of course, being the covered patio here uh, in the background. They're putting the heaters on right now, but it features a fireplace with a TV, a, a kitchen, an outdoor kitchen, barbecue sink is included. I want to tell you a little thing about my own personal outdoor structure is I did an outdoor structure and I failed to put the heaters in. I can tell you two years later, I, we were bummed out that we didn't do it. We have a, a fireplace, but it just doesn't give us the heat sometimes that we need. So we would have loved to do those heaters. So, yeah, I mean, the thing about the heaters is this, is that, you know, we, again, same thing, we were having the house built, and so we knew, like, which heaters we wanted. You got, you got, you got to pick those and send them to the builder and say, all right, cool. So they um, were supposed to wire it up, and the fortunate thing was is that when Mike and his team came out, the electrician that came out found out that the wiring wasn't quite right and um, really helped us work with the contractor that built the home because we didn't really know what to say all we knew that is we were being told one thing it was right and one thing it was wrong. Um, and, and he actually helped us out even with an inspector, staying very anonymous so that no one got in trouble, um, but make it, you know, really giving us the information we needed to make sure that it went come back and get fixed and be done correctly. Uh, because we knew how much heat we needed for the space, um, but we're not electricians, so we didn't really know, but it was great to have someone that was there to help us out and make sure that it was done right. I would recommend to at least prepare your outdoor structure for heaters. If you can't quite afford it budget-wise right now, think about it for the future because you will not regret it. All right, guys, thanks for this time. Don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.